Hey everyone, good morning, hope you're doing well. My name is Bo and this is Tip Tuesday for Performance Designs. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about flare technique and uh, kind of why everyone uses this thing that is commonly referred to as the two-stage flare for normal straight-in approaches. Um, what, what I wanna get into is, is, like I said, why we do this, what it does to the parachute and what we're doing as we pull down the toggles and, and then finish our flare. Um, a lot of times people understand that you're supposed to do a two-stage flare. They, they know the term of it, but they don't necessarily understand why or what it does. So I think teaching people that, and hopefully you, you can get a little bit from this, will help you in your execution of the technique as well. So essentially, I like to think of it as um, kind of two components to parachute flight, right? There's a vertical component, canopy is coming down, as well as a horizontal component, canopy is moving forward. I have this nice little foam thing I'm gonna use also, a little foam parachute. The first part of the flare is an abrupt motion to stop our vertical descent. So canopy's coming down, first part of the flare brings it entirely to level flight. It flattens out that wing so there's no longer a vertical component. The canopy is only traveling horizontally. And then the second part of the flare is a gradual finish because what we're trying to do is, is bleed off our speed, get rid of our horizontal component while maintaining lift so we can stay above the ground and have a nice tiptoe landing. So again, the first stage in a, is an abrupt motion to level flight. The second part of the flare is a gradual finish of the flare so we can have a nice soft landing. Parachutes with steeper uh, glide paths are going to have a little bit more power, so a little bit more dynamic of a flare. There's gonna be more power to manage Parachutes that are a little bit flatter flying are gonna have a little bit less power, so a little bit less dynamic when you're coming in. Because if you think about it, a flatter parachute, you travel from this orientation to this orientation for level flight. Steeper parachute, you have further to travel, right? So this is how, if you analyze what your parachute, what type of parachute you're flying, how it's flying, you might be able to change up your flare or at least execute it a little bit better because you have an understanding of what you're trying to accomplish under the wing as you're landing. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Again, this is just kind of a basic overview of why we do this flare the way we do it. Hopefully it helps and uh, hope you have some nice landings and some fun skydives in the future, guys. Thanks again, see ya. Ready? Parachute drop. <laughs>